Hey guys, Eerie is here and welcome along to another video. To all the regular viewers, welcome back. If this is your first time here and you're watching all sorts of sim racing related stuff, subscribe now and hit that bell icon as well so you get notified of every video I upload and you don't miss a thing. So you join me here for the first round of the 2021 official FIA season. We're with VW for this season. Now, if you didn't see my wife pick this manufacturer, then I've pinned the video to the top of the comment section down below. Now, I have really been looking forward to this. The days have been oh, somewhat dry, to say the very least. But thankfully, loads of people, as expected, have flocked back to GT Sport for this, their flagship championship. So let's see how we fare here in the opener at Catalonia. You join me here on my hot lap in quali before the race. As I just mentioned, we're at Catalonia. We've got 17 laps in this one. All tyre compounds are available. Hards are mandatory though. We're in the group threes and there has been a huge turnout for this one. Loads and loads of variety, but we are the only beetle in the field. Speaking of which, I know Erin wanted a flower livery, but we filmed this about four hours before this race. So we're going with something I like, which is McDonald's. So don't be offended, people get a little bit offended sometimes, it's not a political statement, I just like cheeseburgers. So if anyone wants to make me a flowery beetle or Scirocco livery, tag me at areas in it and I'll let Erin choose for the next race. Finishing our lap here then, our best lap was a 1 minute 43.615, which actually ended up being good enough for 5th here. We were 4 tenths off the pole. And the first driver, well, the pole sitter, to 16th was split only by a second. So it's incredibly competitive here. And again, it goes to show how many people turned out for this one. We're car number 11 in this business class lobby. I like to describe it as a business class lobby. We're not the worst, so we're not economy, but we're certainly not first class. So we're going to see how we do here as we get underway. And as we do, it will come as no surprise to any of you. The first thing we're going to do is just settle down here. We've got 17 laps. We've got a long way to go. So I don't want to make any mistakes that's going to compromise the end result early on. So we're going to touch on strategy here. Strategy could have been a no-stopper. Well, if you're in the Mazda, of course. But even if your car can't make it to the end, fuel saving is encouraged. But sod that, we're one and done in these FIA events. We've got one shot. And in this, the only race that I can do, I want to go for it. So I started here on the hards. I'm going to go as long as I can and then do the rest on the softs. We're going to try and get the best position we can whilst having the most fun we can have. So we've started on hards, as I say. The front three are getting away early and we're going to see here that we're going to get overtaken into turn number five by the Brit. But don't worry, though. They said they were on the softs in the pre-race lobby. So I'm not too worried about it here. I'm just going to try and hang on to his coattails and see where he can take us. But we're down to sixth for now. Moving ahead to lap number two here. Keep your eyes up in front. You can see that the Brit is going to make a move on the German in front. So it goes to show that he is indeed, well, he's either rapid or he's on a softer compound tyre. But looking forward isn't really too much of you know a priority right now as you can see in the radar somebody is there and that person is wi-fi password who is actually heading up a train of a number of people here so we need to be careful here because we do not want to get swallowed up by the pack so over the next couple of laps i tried to get my head down really concentrate and try and pull a bit of a gap, which we managed to do whilst the German up ahead, as you can see there, went wide coming out of turn number five. He's gonna have dirty tires here. So then he goes wide again at the next corner. So the game considers that as a cut, so he's gonna get himself a penalty. So on the very next lap, we're caught up here and are patiently waiting behind the German for him to serve his inevitable penalty. He's not going to get the opportunity though to go through the gate as he dips his tyres onto the grass, goes wide, we're up the inside and into fifth place. Now the four cars ahead must be on softs, but we're going to keep ploughing on, we're not going to get demotivated. As mentioned at the start, we're going as far as we can on these hards before changing to the softs for the second part of this race. 
moving again ahead this time a further lap to lap number six and look on the delta you can see that the first of the soft runners is going to come in i also have wi-fi password right up my chuff so we've managed almost six full laps here and our fuel shows we're going to get to around lap number 11 before we have to come in so this could feel like a long second stint I could choose to save fuel at this point, but we're here to race, so we're going to try and go as fast as we can for as long as we can, keeping our foot on the loud pedal, and we're going to press on. It was then time for the remaining leaders to come in off their softs. Now, I'm glad they were on softs. It would not have been good for us if they were that quick on the hards. But let's address the elephant in the room. We're going to go into the lead as we start lap number eight. So false position admittedly, but we'll take it and you're probably going to see some sort of picture showing this in the thumbnail as well. Now we're bringing along behind us the Brit who followed us through when the German went off a lap earlier and we're just trying to work together here. As you can see the Brit bumps us down the front straight here and this lap, lap number 10, is going to be our in lap. Our tyres are shot now and we just don't have enough fuel to go round once more. Well, maybe we could have done in hindsight, but in the heat of the moment I felt it was just safer to come in. And it was, you know, in the ethos of this race to just keep our foot in and keep going. I was so excited to get these FIAs back, I didn't really want to waste any time fuel saving or doing anything like that. I just wanted to go for it from start to finish. But what that is going to mean is that we're going to have to save tyres on the longer second stint. Now we have to remember that these pit stops aren't like the good old days where on some circuits it was actually quicker to come in than go down the start finish straight. So minimising pit stops is realistic here and an absolute must. Now as you saw there I thought for a long time whether I should have gone for the mediums but I thought no I'm going to stick to the plan, put on a soft set of boots filled all the way up and away we went. So we came out here right behind the Brit in 11th place and then everything goes, well, a little bit weird. Maybe this is what the inside of the Shadow Realm looks like. I'll have to ask Steve, or maybe Steve can confirm, but whatever went on here, it was weird. The server must have been hanging on for dear life. Did any of you get this or have any of you seen it before? I haven't, but let me know in the comments section down below if you have. But it sorts itself out thankfully soon enough and we can actually see where we are and what we have to work with. So as I say we're in 11th after our pit stop and you can see there's a group of five up in front. Of course I want to get onto the back of these guys but I want to do it sensibly and not burn out those tyres that I'm going to need to be on until the end of the race which I'm conscious of as we need to be on them for quite a long time. So we're going to try and get after them but in a very sensible manner. Now, at the end of the lap, the Jag comes in, which is gonna put us up into the top 10. The guys are two by two up in front, so hopefully it won't be too long till we are on the back of them. And it wasn't too long at all. Coming into the final section here, you can see how much time people lose when they battle, and we've caught right up to the back of them as we'd hoped. It's now a group of three, as one car has scampered off into the distance, but our immediate target here, as we start lap number 13, is this Italian in the Lambo up in front. So we make sure we've got a good run there out of the final corner, we sit here in the slipstream, pull out, and we make the move cleanly into turn number one, bringing us up into P9 now. But whilst concentrating up in front, I didn't notice the Spaniard behind. He was absolutely flying. Conscious of my tyres and the need to manage them until the very end, I didn't fight it when he had the run on us and subsequently went for the move into turn number one. So whilst we lost the position, I'm going to try and stay with him here. Hopefully he's going to bring us onto the back of the cars up in front. Everybody is going to start to be suffering with their tyres now. We've all been on them for quite a long time, so it's going to be interesting to see how this one pans out in the closing stages. Moving ahead of the lap to lap number 15 and despite putting a purple sector in through sector 1 my tyres were really beginning to go off now, they felt absolutely awful so I felt that I had to rein it in a bit. Which then allowed them to pull a bit of a gap in front as we crossed the line to start lap number 16 here. 
but there is a big gap to the cars behind so I can concentrate on still saving these tyres because it's not over until it's over. So here we are then on the final lap and we're going to stay on board here because I just want to share a couple of my thoughts. So we can see all the way to fourth place up ahead there which was a testament to just how close this was. I felt like we learned some lessons here as well. If I were to go again I would have saved that little bit of extra fuel to get at least one extra lapse on the hards which would shorten the time on the softs allowing me to attack that little bit more. But we're one and done here. I want to keep it special and overall this has been a great start to the championship but bigger than that I was happy just generally that the FIAs are back as was everybody else it seems. I've mentioned a couple of times loads of people turned out for this one the lobbies were full and the driving was well especially in this business class lobby to a good standard. So welcome back FIAs, welcome back everybody and long may it continue. And on that positive note, we're going to come round the final corner here and across the line to finish the opening round here at Catalonia in the top 10. Very, very happy with that one. And as our 10th place is confirmed here at Catalonia in the first round of the 2021 official FIA Manufacturer Series, I'm going to end the video there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But thanks again so much for watching though guys and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.